Good evening, soldier. You certainly have a fine sword. And marvelous knapsack. You're a really true soldier. But empty is your knapsack. And empty your stomach. You please me, soldier. You shall have as much gold from now on as you could wish for. Any thanks, old witch. That old oak there is hollow inside. A good man can go down to its depths if he wishes. What'll I do inside a tree? Find gold. <laughs> That would sure be nice. Ah, but is it the truth? I've spoken the truth. See for yourself. Hmm, I would like to believe you. 
But you must want it for yourself, old witch. Aye. Not a single penny do I want. But you must bring an old tinderbox up to me. My grandmother forgot about it the last time she was down there. That must be a very special tinderbox, since you want it so much. Hmm? All right. Now let's put a rope around my waist so you can let me down there. You're going to bring back the tinder box. Yes, yes, yes. They're not so tight. Be a good dog. With all this copper, I'll be a rich man. Eh? <laughs> well, now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
don't look at me like that, or your eyes will get sore. Huh? <laughs> get down. Go. Good dog. Nice dog. Silver. Only a fool would keep copper if he found all this. Right? Sounds nice, eh? Yeah. Yeah, many thanks, old man. And let's see what's in this one. seen the likes of you. No, 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 no. All this I could buy the king. And the whole world if I wanted. <laughs> it's real gold. What can a man want who has all this? with this. Oh, 
old fairy godmother. Sir, I want work. How often must I tell you? No! Loafer, lazy scoundrel, that boy's always begging and he thinks the shoemaker to the king works just to feed him. Work, work! There'll be no loafing around my workshop.
Well, what have you got on your mind, Hans? How do you know what my name is? It's written on your nose, right there. Now, tell me what's wrong. I've done nothing wrong. I asked the royal shoemaker if he would take me as a pupil. But since I've no money to pay him, he chased me away. That rich Rora shoemaker back there. Oh, you mean to say he's the only master shoemaker in the town, eh? No, there is another, Master Sharp. But he himself is very poor. He's so poor, he has to charge a fee. Come. Come, we'll go see Master Sharp. Yes, but I, I have I, no... I, I, shh. morning. Can you take hands as an apprentice, Master Sharp? Yes. If business were not so slow, I'd like to. I'd gladly have hands with me. He's a worker, an honest lad. How much tuition money must he pay? Three gelders. And the raw shoe master asked for ten gelders. Oh, three gelders would be plenty. You shall have ten gelders, Master Sharp. There. And now make a fine craftsman out of hands. Princess will marry. What do you mean? you good morning, Master Smith. Please tell me where I'll find the very best guest house in the town. So, it's the very best you must have. Yes. Then you should go directly to the Inn of the Golden Swan. <laughs> and <laughs> when your grace has supped well, then go straight to the fair princess in the palace. She's waiting for you. I thank you. But what did he mean about the princess? What's this? I would like a room, good sir, with a beautiful view and a nice warm feather bed. <laughs> hey, don't waste our time. Go to the inn outside the gate, soldier. That's the place for the likes of you. Can I serve you, good sir? I'd like some food to eat. Of course, sir. 
First, some good soup, innkeeper. Mm. Then, uh, a little fish, please. Then, a uh, goose with gravy and baked potatoes, mm, uh, cakes and wine. Hmm? Of course, good soldier. Who on earth could he be? Who, huh? Maybe a robber. Ah. He's a gentleman who wishes to live like a soldier for a few days. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. And I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> I thank you. <laughs> and to your good health, soldier. He's the soldier who'll marry the princess. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sirs. What's all this about a princess whom everyone in the town speaks of? She's the daughter of our king, good soldier. And how does one see this princess? No one can ever see the princess. It's prophesied, they say, that an ordinary soldier will marry her. Mm -hmm. The king can't bear the idea, so he has locked her up in the copper castle. Poor princess. She must stay in the castle. She may not even go for walks in the garden. He's some king. You know him? I've never seen him, but I've fought for him with empty stomach and empty knapsack. Our king is a mild and honest man. Mm. And his own daughter is kept inside. He will release her as soon as she's willing to be the bride of the prince from the next kingdom. But she refuses to do it. Now why should the princess wed him if she doesn't want to? Mm -hmm. No? Well, here is some money in advance. Now I'll go to my room. Here, show this man to the finest room. Give me your bags. Sir. No, no, no. I'll manage it. Fine room. <laughs> hey, my friend, be so good as to polish my shoes for me, please. Here. You call yourself a rich man? That's a laugh. With shoes like these? Hmm. You are right. I need some new clothes and shoes. Go get me Master Smith and Master Sharp, my friend. <clears throat> uh. 
perfection on you, sir. A real general. Incomparable. Well, how about it, Master Smith? Can I see the princess now? And here is your pay. Ah. Thank you, Your Grace. At your service, Your Excellency, sir. Good soldier. Good day, good soldier. Good day, my dear shoemaker friends. I brought you a pair of nice new boots. Ah, they're magnificent. <laughs> and they fit me like a glove. from real leather. You look elegant, good soldier. I'm sure the princess will be impressed. Gingerbread soldier? Give me that heart shaped one there. Thank you. Gingerbread, it's hot, he said, but who will the princess wed? Here, little lady. Oh. Come here, everyone. Oh, a teacher. Oh, 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 How did she go to ship? Come on, look at that. You should see where she's gone. I'll buy all the sweets you have to sell. Here you are. There and there. There and here's a heart. I've never eaten a pretzel before. Mmm, this is good. Do you think he's a prince? Oh, he certainly behaves like a prince. He looks just like a soldier. And then he's a very good soldier. I'll bet he'll marry the princess. <laughs> Come, you little rascal. Show me where the toy store is. Give me all the toys you have, eh? All oh, right, here we are. Ah, here. And a sword, right? A sword. Ah, here. Ah, there's enough for everyone, and we'll have this one here. And this one, too. And, uh, and the other one. And another one. And here we are, some swords. Oh, and here's a trumpet and a saber. Here, here, here. Ah, and the doll. Ah, and the trumpet and the trumpet. A drum, a bum, bum, bum. Ah, and, and here's a doll for you. A doll. A doll. And, and you get a trumpet, a trumpet. Ah, ah, and you want a sword, do you? All <laughs> right. Well, here we are, everybody. Something. Ah, so, right. Uh, uh, what's this? Now I am a soldier. I'll ride to the castle and I'll free the princess. <laughs> and then she won't have to marry the prince after all. <laughs> <laughs> Five pennies, not a penny less. But I only have four. 
Have a good meal, woman. You're a good man, soldier, and I wish you many good things. <laughs> Come, children. Help this old lady now. Bye bye, little lady. Come run along now. Bye bye. Goodbye. Can you tell me the weight of the castle, sir? The copper castle, you mean, Your Grace? Oh, my. Oh, no one can go in there. Well, you go to the park, to your right, up the road. But on my honor, with all respect, oh, my. Be friendly, eh? Hmm. Look here, soldier. Do you see this purse here? I must get into the copper castle. This purse is full of gold, eh? <laughs> it's all for you. I must get in to see the princess. Hmm? <clears throat> Welcome, soldier. Good evening, soldier. My compliments. You look just like a prince. A, a wonderful suit. It fits you perfectly. Oh, yes, he reminds me of the Prime Minister. You flatter me, gentlemen. Oh, no. Will you do me the honor of being my guest? But, sir, set the table. Here we are, soldier. The very best from my wine cellar, gentlemen. To the health of the lovely princess. Her health. And to your health, dearest friend. Cheers. This morning, I went to the castle. I must get inside to see the princess. And the king, I have something to say to him, too. Hmm. Oh, my father is an important man at court. He can certainly help. If that's possible, perhaps you can help me to find a job in the city as well. My dear friend, I am sure I can be of service. My father is the supreme judge at the court. Wow. He knows everyone in the city. By tomorrow, I'll have just the position for you. Mm. You may count on me as well. My father is the richest merchant in the city. And not only here, but in the whole land as well. <laughs> <laughs> and so you see, you have no worries. So have yourself a couple of merry days. <laughs> You've earned it in the war, I'm sure of that. Well, well that's I, a uh... fine idea. Let's drink to it. Mm. <laughs> to good friendship. Uh, we'll go for coach rides together. <laughs> and dance at the balls we'll give. And eat all we want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and have parties in the palace. <laughs> and sail gondolas in the pond in the moonlight. 
It will cost a lot. You're right. A lot. But why worry? I have a muff. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's not a wise man, our new guest. He's throwing his money around as if it were pennies and not gold. I don't see good coming of it. Yes, yes, he's too good, Art. I think the friends he's picked will do him no good. There, to your health, gentlemen. Ah. <laughs> Wonderful ride, my dear friend. Mm -hmm. My fair, please, gentlemen. I'm as hungry as a wolf. Innkeeper, why isn't the table set? It's a crime to treat important guests in this sort of manner. So hurry up. I don't like this. Soldier, you've been here for three weeks now and dined here every evening with your friends as your guests, but all the gold you gave me when you arrived has been spent. For three days, I've been giving you credit. Pay me and I'll bring you your dinner. Fifteen guilders is what you owe me. This is all that I have left. I've been spending a great deal of money and have no more. Oh, I'd almost forgotten. My dear father is having guests and is waiting dinner for me. Oh, my. <laughs> How could I have forgotten? My uh, dearest sister's uh, birthday is today. Excuse me, too. I promised my mother I'd spend some time with her. Well, what about it, soldier? Must I call in the guards? All right. Take my expensive clothes and a boots as payment. And give me a smaller room. Soldier? Hans, come on in, my friend. Good evening, soldier. The master's wife sent you some soup. She hopes you'll enjoy it. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
And tomorrow, the master will have your boots ready. Hmm. Here, sit down here. Mm -hmm. The princess is said to be lovely and not at all conceited. Ah, what's the use if she's locked up in the copper castle? Can no one see her? Is it really true? One time, she wanted to play with the children outside the gates of the castle garden. But when the king found out, he locked her up again. I would like to help her, Hans. Yes, and soon. If you don't, she'll have to marry the ugly prince and leave here. I must find a way. Hans, get me a needle and thread. I'll repair my shoes as best I can. It'll pass the time. Don't be too sad, good soldier. Tomorrow I'll come back. I bid you a good evening. this? This is a very strange tinderbox. Could you bring me some of the copper you guard under the oak tree? so good, my friend, as to bring me a purse full of silver, huh? <laughs> ah, you brought me a purse full of gold. You don't want to give me the purse, huh? No, no. This time I won't waste it on idle friends. wanted to go to the Copper Castle. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't you throw him out into the street? <laughs> That's no good, fool. Innkeeper, what do I owe you? Fifteen gelders. I told you that yesterday, didn't I? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen gelders. What can I do for you, soldier? Nothing. Bravo, soldier. You're just a born actor, you are. You played the poor man perfectly. That was simply marvelous. Yes, and the way we played along. Yes. Wasn't that a fantastic <laughs> day? Yes. <laughs> Drink a toast to our dear friend, the soldier. Spare me your friendship, please. I enjoyed quite enough of it the first time. Friends like you aren't good even in good times. <laughs> Good morning. 
Bernie? Come, sit here with me, Hans. Good morning, soldier. What did you bring me? Your breakfast. This is nice. Ah, bacon, how I love it. And what's your favorite dish? Bacon and eggs, and berry pudding. Innkeeper! Bacon and eggs, and a great bowl of berry pudding. And for Master Sharp, make up a basket of brandy and a beautiful roast of beef. And for the master's wife, cake. And a flask of sweet wine. <laughs> You're sure to like this meal. I'm glad you found out what kind of friends they were. Yes, yes, shame on you. Spending your gold on the likes of them was a very bad idea. And have you forgotten about the princess locked up in the copper castle? I know it's the middle of the night, my friends. But I would like to see the princess, just for a moment, please. A real fairy princess. How lovely you are. And people say you are just as kind. I promise you, I will free you from your prison in the Copper Castle. I thank you, good dog. Well, child, I'd love to go to the park for a walk. In the park, where everyone can see you? Such nonsense. <clears throat> now, child. Child, what's wrong with you? I was kissed by a soldier last night. <gasps> oh, dear. A soldier? It was only in a dream. But it was a lovely dream. I forbid you to have such dreams. Next week, you'll marry the prince from the neighboring realm. He'll show you how you must behave like a real princess. I never want to marry that idiot. Guard! Take the princess to her room and lock her in.
me to free the princess. Let me take her away. Why have you brought me this? No, there it is, there. But there's another cross. What's going on here? And here is one. How does one free the princess from the copper castle, my friend? You won't. If you sit around doing nothing. Thank you. 
Who goes there? to the gallows, you wretch. March! I'll free you somehow, lovely princess. morning after, the princess will be married. <laughs> as fast as you can up to my room. In the corner on the table is a tinder box. Bring it here, but don't waste any time. Right, soldier. Come on, your time's come. I hope Hans gets here on time. with your head. I'm warning you. 
if the princess gets out of her room this time. Let me out! They mustn't hang the soldier. Run fast. Perhaps you can still save the soldier. Stop that. My king, I beg you, grant me one last wish and let me smoke my pipe before I die. Well, hurry up.
help me so I won't be hanged and to teach this treacherous crowd a lesson. <gasps> and protect me from the dog. I couldn't help you for a thousand guilders or more. You've done a good job. I thank you. <laughs> <laughs>